morning, villagers. Welcome back to another edition of the VES News. Your newscasters are Santa from the Culinary Engineers class. And also Angela from the CC class. Today is Tuesday, September 26th, and it is a day one. Today's character education thought of the day is, at recess, listen for the whistle and line up as soon as you hear it. Now for our guest weather reporter. Well, good morning. You guys are doing great. And you know what I need? I think everybody needs some cooler weather. It's fall and it feels like summer. Enough with this heat, but remember, I'm just the messenger, kids. How you doing this morning? I'm meteorologist John Marshall, visiting your school today and actually doing an assembly for the third graders uh, later this morning. The high today, 80 degrees, the overnight low, 67. And all in all, temperatures are gonna be very warm for this time of the year. The high temperature today getting up into about 80 degrees. As we continue on, you will see that the next graphic will show us the humidity. 91%. Hair alert day out there. What, a, what much I got anyway. 91% the humidity for tomorrow. 83 will be the high. The overnight low will be 67. And the radar really, nothing to cool us off. It is blank. Nada. Clear skies. Basically early morning fog giving way to partly cloudy skies today. Again, temperatures will get into the mid 80s. So all in all, the forecast still looking like summer, but more fall-like weather will come down the pike later Friday into Saturday. Back to you, Sienna and Angela. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Thanks, Mr. Marshall. If you look up at the night sky tonight, here's what the moon will look like. Our moon is waxing towards a full moon. Today's lunch will be whole grain chicken nuggets. And don't forget those sides and veggies. With seasoned peas and sweet potato fries. Tomorrow's lunch will be whole grain rotini. With mashed sweet potatoes and warm apple slices. At this time, please stand as we honor our country with a flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Today, third graders have an awesome assembly. Weatherman John Marshall will be sharing his weather expertise. It is sure to be an awesome assembly. Tomorrow's third grade back to school night. And Thursday's fourth grade back to school night. Be sure to remind your parents. This week is Food Allergy Awareness Week at VES. Each day we will announce a step on how we can all be a pal to our friends who have food allergies. Pal means protecting a life. Today's step in being a pal is don't share food with friends who have food allergies. Today we will honor so Sonia Sotomayor as we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Sonia Sotomayor is the first Hispanic American to serve on the nation's highest court and the third woman to serve in the U.S. Supreme Court. Her parents moved from Puerto Rico to New York City in the 1950s. Despite all the difficulties, she and her family worked hard to make a good life for themselves. Sonia Sotomayor graduated from Princeton University in New Jersey with the highest honors. She also received a degree from Yale Law School in Connecticut. Through her hard work and dedication, Sotomayor has become a role model for all those Hispanics that are trying to get an education and a great career. She is, li she is living proof of the American dream. In other news, fourth graders, please remember to apply for a school leadership position as a peer partner, safety patroller, Bluebird Buddy, or News Engineer. The deadline is this Friday. So far, we only have about 60 apply applicants, and we need more to fill all the jobs. For the VES News Network, this is Sienna signing off. And Angela signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another edition of the VES News. Have a terrific Tuesday. Remember, Blazer says be your best at VES. Go, Blazer. <laughs> That's great. Can I feel nice?